Okay, we're going to now introduce the timer, and um, uh, you can see one reason I really like this, this uh, uh, shoulder harness is because it gives me the hands free. But the timer basically is going to now validate some of our speed. How fast are we hitting this target? I've got to set up for a two-second par set. That means I'm going to push the button as a random start. When the buzzer goes off, I've got a two-second window. Here it goes. One, two, to shoot my shot. All right? And so now two seconds is a heck of a lot of time. Uh, especially at these distances. These are not long distances. But two seconds is not that long when you're talking about someone responding to what you're doing. So let's go ahead, uh, get ourselves set up, and uh, see if we can engage these two targets in less than two seconds. See, plenty of time there. In fact, they got through in about 1.47. So let's do it again. Okay, watch the mounting technique. Easy stuff. Again, we're about 20 yards with a rifle. Fairly easy shot. When you introduce the time, it gets a little bit more challenging. My total time was 1.38 from the time the buzzer went off to the second shot. One more time here. Total time there is 1.28. So two shots, two different targets in 1.28 seconds. And I bet you we can ramp it up a little bit faster here. So let me try it one more time. Starting with the gun high. One point one three. So you can see with a little bit of practice, you can get really fast from shot to shot. And I hope I've been able to give you the uh, techniques that I'm looking for that enable you to go from the first target to the second target. Again, remember, let your eyes lead you just a little bit so you don't overswing on the target. All right, now suppose that you are actually in a firefight or some situation and there are multiple adversaries or even one adversary. Uh, I have a videotape called Move, Shoot, Live, which discusses extensively uh, using a pistol and the ability or, or the need to move out of the line of fire as you mount the pistol up because chances are if you're a good guy and you've got a pistol either in a concealed carry even in a, in a low position and a bad guy wants to do something to you, you really can't have the gun pointed at him or you can't shoot him until he decides that he's going to hit you with a club, stab you with a knife, shoot you with his gun. So you're really at a disadvantage. You being the good guy have to wait for the bad guy to really start the trouble before you can elicit uh, a response. So again, you're responding to the action versus uh, uh, initiating the action, so you're at a slight disadvantage. Same thing is true here with the AR-15 and CQC. So I want to go ahead and incorporate the movement drills into my practice so that I have the ability to get out of the way of fire or of danger, whether it be a club, a knife, or uh, another firearm. The first objective, especially if I've got my gun in a low ready position, which is fairly normal, is for me to get out of the way of the bad guy, okay? So if you're the bad guy and you have a gun, the first thing I want to do is get out of the way. I want you to have to track me, and I typically want to move horizontally or laterally towards you versus just straight back. Now, increasing the distance is always a good idea. The farther I get away, the greater chance you are going to miss me with the club, the knife, and or a firearm. Although we do know that if it is a firearm, if I step straight back, chances are you're going to be just as accurate at 6 feet as you are at 10 feet in that lateral, or should I say, that one-dimensional move. If I were to step diagonally back and to the side, I now know that you not only have to shoot a longer shot, but you've got to move the barrel of the gun to track me. Hence, I'm anticipating that you're going to miss me with greater chances because of the odds of you having to move the barrel to readjust your shot. So I want to take the same information plug it into my brain here with this rifle stuff and say, how do I use that movement, that knowledge, 
to ensure my survivability in CQC with an AR-15. Okay, here's my targets. My objective at this point is to get out of the way of the line of fire as I mount the firearm, okay? So, I'm at the low ready position. Uh-oh, bad things are happening. I want to step back and mount, okay? Now, I do know that the AR-15 has a tremendous advantage, and that is hellacious firepower. Okay, this is a heck of a gun at these kind of distances. Okay, so if bad guy has a firearm, a club, or a knife, I know that I want to at least increase the distance, one big step, mount, and shoot. All right, real fast, but get out of the way. Let's go up and see what happened to our target. Again, this is strictly point shooting by two hits. And we've got a distance of approximately 12 to 15 feet, all right? All I'm doing is taking everything we've learned here so far, pointing the gun, mounting the gun, mounting it high, kind of centered up with my body, with my right eye, looking at the target, looking at a spot on the target, squeezing the trigger rapidly, okay? So again, now I'm just incorporating, as I mount the gun, a step, just like that. All right, that's all I'm doing. Step and shoot. Just to give myself that extra bit of time and perhaps a little bit of luck so that the bad guy misses me. All right, so I do want to make sure that I practice moving, 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 and shooting and pointing, okay? now. The hard part here is that as I'm moving, it's very, very difficult to actually see the sight, okay? Because I am moving and I'm gonna focus on the bad guy. He has a gun, okay? Very hard for me now, even though I bring that sight up, to really pick up the sight. So I've gotta rely on the training that we've gone through that I know the sight is gonna be there because I've practiced enough to know that where I'm looking, the sight's gonna intersect. See how it all ties together? So now in this rapid movement drill, where everything's happening very quickly, I wanna rely on my training to know that as I'm moving, as I'm mounting, as I'm bringing the gun up, it's there. The gun is there, the sight is there. I don't have to pause to look at it because I've trained enough I've taken the time to know that if I mount the gun properly, bring it up, it's going to be there every time. And I know it already that I've taken the time to practice that I can squeeze the trigger really fast, do accurate shots. There's not a lot of recoil with this gun. I mean, this is an easy gun to shoot. It's a 22. Very easy to shoot, very easy to control. You can go ahead and you can shoot this thing all day long. And basically, have accurate shots every time. So again, to recap this whole movement thing, we know this bad guy is gonna have to elicit the response before I can level him down, all right? We know that I can't just go up and say, well, you look like you're a bad guy. You're in my house, you're in my, in my land, you're trying to steal my car, you're trying to do something, you're trying to damage or hurt me, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you. No, no, we have to wait till he actually does something. So as he brings his gun up, brings his knife up, rushes towards me, most important thing I can do, especially with a long gun, is get back in the way. And then, see what's happening, mounting the gun, pointing right at the bad guy. Boom, boom, boom. Three shots with this at this kind of distance is going to go ahead and do it. And again, we want to try not to just back straight up from the adversary, to go to the diagonal, to get out of the way, especially if it's a firearm, especially if it's a knife because we want to give ourselves that extra fraction of a second to be able to engage the target before they get to us. All right, so let's do it one more time. Ready? Here we are. Bad guy, uh oh. Just like so. All right, and you know, I am looking through the sights. And I am bringing that line of sight up, that, that gun and that uh, red dot into my line of sight. And I am trying to see it, but when it gets really fast, You've got to start to rely on your training. 
and that comes with practice and that's why we're here at the range to show you some of the drills I like to do to get up to speed to be able to really use the AR-15 for